Hello, my name is Martez Loren, and this is my 37 week update on testosterone. Um, that puts me right over the uh, seven, almost, I guess, almost eight complete months mark. Um, lately, as you can see, this chin hair is in full effect. There is a definite beard. It's visible to myself, onlookers, and small children. Um, the mustache, which is weird because I've always had a mustache, is actually a lot thinner looking in comparison to the chin hair, but it's it's there too. Um, I've been getting like really small hairs that are really thin on my face. At my one year mark, which is going to be June 1st, I'm going to shave my face and see what grows back because I already had the sideburn. So. That should be interesting. Um, today I looked at myself and my looked at my face and was like, "Oh, I noticed my eyebrows are thicker." You probably didn't notice that because I didn't notice it until right now. But eyebrows are thicker. Um, so what I'm talking about today is an incident that happened last week on Tuesday at work. Um, so I had my first issue at work with being transgender. Um, it didn't come from where I thought it was gonna come from. I thought it was gonna have an issue with my bosses or like someone. A, and even if it was a parent, of all the parents in the entire center that I could have an issue with, interestingly enough, I had a problem with the one, count, one lesbian parent that we had in the building. And to add that, it was a masculine presenting African American lesbian mother. Which shocked me, and I think I actually kind of hurt my feelings a little bit, because if you know me, I am the kind of person that goes above and beyond for any children in my care. And the child in question wasn't even in my class. However, I do oversee that area of the building. So I took upon myself to make sure that parent, like every other parent, was cared for, spoken to, and treated with respect and dignity. I was greeted with a very aggressive it was just aggressive the treatment I received was very aggressive and I felt like it wasn't necessary um, it, I mean it, it was it got very intense um, the altercation ended with a meeting between myself the owners of my facility my direct supervisor and my director and the parent ended up being removed from the center and relocated um, all of this incident. And at first I was so confused as to what the problem was. Uh, the incident started re over something really minor and escalated to myself being invited to come outside to physically resolve the altercation. That didn't happen, but I was invited to come outside to battle, I guess, this young lady in a battle of like actually fighting didn't happen but it just kind of opened my eyes to the idea that I mean I've, I've kind of always known that there was a bit of tension between dominant lesbians and trans men but like I've never experienced that and I thought that was just ludicrous um, but it made me feel like we need to have a discussion in the community about <sighs> inclusion I've noted and I've asked other trans folk male and female like what their experience has been with you know people within the community and it seems to be across the board most of my people my friends who are trans women and trans men who have had issues in the, the community has been with dominant presenting women lesbians who have given them trouble to both trans women and trans men so i want to know what's up like if you are a masculine lesbian do you have issues with trans people, trans men, trans women? What is the root of the issue? Do you feel like we're imposing upon you? Do you think we're trying to step into your field? What is the issue? I, I really love to get to the bottom of it. If anyone has any comments to add, has any input to put in, that would be great. Um, just want to know. But yeah, it, it, all, all in all, the altercation hurt my feelings and kind of sort of blew me. I felt like of all the people who should have been on my side, who should have been in my corner... I thought that I would get some type of support from someone in my own community. And it came out that that was the main person who had issue with me in the first place. Eh, you can win some, you lose some. But at the end of the day, I still got my promotion at work, by the way. So, yeah, you mean. 
still got promoted to work. I'm still doing great. They're still giving me more responsibility. They still think I'm awesome. Um, so it didn't hinder me at work from, you know, succeeding. But it just made me feel like, I don't know. Why would you direct that kind of hatred towards me? Most people, parents, are happy to have their kids in my class because I care. And with that child in particular, my center had done all we could do to assist her in any way we could because first time parent, not knowing too much, so we always gave a little extra for that kid, a little extra for that parent. And we went above and beyond on a couple occasions. So I think myself, I felt offended because she's a bit of a overprotective parent which sometimes can become tedious for other stu for other uh, staff members and they had all got to the point where no one to deal with her but that she didn't know that part I did but I took it upon myself to make sure she was cared for in the best way possible and her daughter received all that she needed I guess again you win some you lose some but I did my job and it just kinda hurts that that wasn't enough that who I'm, I am made you feel like you had to jump out of character and treat me like I had done wrong to you. If she sees this, hopefully maybe she can comment and say what she feels. But again, guys, um, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for all the support I received from friends, family. You guys are awesome. And again, until next time, stay tuned, guys.